Do you have problems with your sinuses and think you might need to be tested for allergies? Learn more about allergy testing from Oakwood-affiliated physician, Dr. Stephen Strick. We're at the Canton offices of Dr. Stephen Strick, board certified by the American Board of Allergy and Immunology to care for children and adults with asthma and allergic conditions. Dr. Strick is going to tell us how to diagnose sinus problems caused by allergic conditions and how to treat those problems. Thank you for joining us on Champions of Care, Dr. Strick. Ah, you're very welcome. So if a family practice doctor or a primary care physician refers a patient to you with problems they suspect are allergy related, what's the first thing you do? The first thing we do is get a very detailed history to decide do they actually have allergy? Uh, might it be a bacterial sinus infection? Do they have an anatomic blockage of the sinus drainage system? Or could that patient have a migraine? What are the symptoms of sinus problems caused by allergies? Uh, allergies cause itchy, drippy, sneezy, stuffy nose, red, watery, itchy eyes, drainage down the back of the throat. They interfere with sleep, so they can cause behavioral problems in children. They can decrease test scores, ability to concentrate and pay attention. Um, if we get a history of the nasal problems, such as I just mentioned, then we're going to skin test the patient. Earlier today, you explained a scratch test to a patient. Let's take a look. Next time we see you, we're going to skin test you to see what you're allergic to. When we do that, we're not going to do blood tests. We're not going to use needles. We're going to use a little plastic device that looks just like this one. Since most children are allergic to similar things in Michigan, this comes preset and we dip it in the well with the various things you might be allergic to. And in less than 20 minutes, we're going to know if you have allergy. You can go ahead and touch to see what it feels like. As scary as a needle? As scary as a blood test? Yeah. No, nope. that's why allergists like to use these type of things. The results are determined based on the size of the red bump and the redness surrounding the bump. We place a drop that is supposed to enlarge on purpose so we can use that as a basis of comparison. And we place salt water on the back to make sure the patient doesn't have sensitive skin and get redness to everything. How severe does the reaction have to be? It will feel like a mosquito bite. Um, that will tend to fade in about an hour or less. So if the patient is allergic, what are the alternatives for treatment? The best treatment for somebody with allergy is to avoid it. Although in the state of Michigan, it's very difficult to avoid outdoor allergens and pollens. Uh, it's a, difficult to avoid pets when they're already in the home. So avoidance is nice, but difficult to do. We choose medications sometimes, like antihistamines and nasal sprays, but the most effective treatment we have for individuals with allergy are injection treatments. The shots work by giving the patient an injection in very dilute form to the substance to which they're allergic. And then we increase the dose of that substance week by week and teach the immune system to ignore the allergen completely. Uh, the best candidate is somebody who has allergy that's been confirmed on skin test that tends to be younger, so we can shut down the allergy and give them a long-standing free time without allergy during the course of their life. If we catch an early individual with allergy who has not yet developed asthma, we may prevent the development in asthma in certain people. Can you develop allergies later in life, or do you have those allergies your whole life and you just don't realize it until later? You can develop an allergy later in life. Most people with allergy develop it early you know, during childhood, but it is possible later in life. And if you move to a new area or a region with a different array of trees and grasses and weeds, after living there a few years, you can develop allergy. You know, allergy shots sound like a long-term commitment. How long do I have to have these shots and, and what is the duration? Uh, allergy shots are given on a weekly basis for roughly six months and then we'll quickly move them to once a month for anywhere from three to five years. We expect that one year after starting, 80% or more of the patients on allergy shots will be 80% better. So I'm hoping to hear the next spring allergy season that there's a significant decrease in red, watery, itchy eyes and itchy, drippy, sneezy, stuffy nose. They may not need medications anymore. We may succeed in reduce risk for asthma. We may reduce sinus infections. We may even reduce migraine headaches. 
Thank you, Dr. Strick, for joining us. You're welcome. I'm Roy Sexton for Champions of Care, brought to you by Oakwood Healthcare. We've had a great Champions of Care today on sinuses and sinus issues. Learn more about our physician guests at oakwood.org, and you can also watch today's segments over and over again on oakwood.org. Or if you'd like to reach a physician, call 1-800-543-WELL. 1-800-543-WELL. Thank you so much for watching Oakwood's Champions of Care.